Well, I open New York Times and you can see that there are so many advertisements going on. I can simply click and it's gone. Yes, on macOS Sequoia version, you can completely get rid of the advertisements and the items on any website that are distracting the readability. In this video, I'll teach you how. First of all, make sure that you are on updated Sequoia version. That's a public beta. And if you don't know how to install, then just go watch my this video in the card and you will be able to install. After that, launch your safari browser and open your desired website in my case this is the website and i open it in new tab and you will see these are the articles here it's an article as well i don't want to see this picture or any item now the macbook will detect everything and delete for me whatever i don't want to see on any website how it works you just see a little tiny icon here and go to hide distraction this will be in sakura version so i don't want to see this one i just simply click and it will go away and then i can press done button or maybe i don't want to see these advertisements i can simply go there hide items and these all the boxes and items will be hidden from this particular website and this section and furthermore once you are on an article then there are more options you can change the font as well for more readability go to this i button and here you can change the background let's say this one or this one whatever suits your needs you can also change the font for this particular article for example this one now the font will change to this one these are the new things you can just choose the font background style or anything you like it is more appropriate in finding maps and hotels and restaurants nearby or any location because it will directly tell you the address and phone number of that particular location in google maps and on safari browser as well here is the hampton hotels in beijing and now i can just go to find any particular place here or the address this is quite easy i don't know why it doesn't show me the address here but it shows the address here directly and this feature is rolled out in the usa initially that's why i can't see the address but in the updated version you can see the address here or the phone number if you are searching for a particular location so this is how you can get rid of these distractions like so hope you like the video if you like thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye